Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of City Skylines here in St. Mary. Uh, today, I think what we're going to work on is purchasing an additional piece of land for the city. Uh, I checked before I started recording and we actually have the ability to purchase two more. Um, whoa. And uh, I think what we're going to start to run into is our our single access point to the highway is going to start really hindering our city. So I'd like to alleviate that and uh, hopefully get us some additional outside connections uh, just to help our city grow a little bit. So let's go ahead and get out of this and I'll show you what I mean. So here's our delightful city growing. Uh, all of the traffic in and out of the city goes through this junction which is not great and frankly there's not enough room to tie in like I could tie into the highway over here if I purchase this square but I think what I'd rather do actually is purchase this square because what that gets us is additional riverfront to develop uh, additional land to expand our industrial area and it also I can bring a train down uh, down into the peninsula here. The peninsula that this portion of the town is starting to occupy. So I think I want to do that. And uh, the next piece might be this piece so that when I'm expanding this portion of the town uh, I, have an, I don't have a, a random straight line barrier the same way I have it here. So, But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, let's just go in and purchase that land. Let's see how much this one is. This one is 5700 bucks. I've definitely got the money. Uh, plenty of connections, plenty of building area, plenty of resources. Let's just go ahead and purchase that. Cha-ching! And then I would purchase this one. Very little ore. That's interesting. Whatever. Um, no connections at all. So that one would definitely rely on the city connections more. But before I do that, let's um, let's look at some of this land that we are now adjacent to. So this one goes up into the mountains. This one goes out into this big lake, which I think that's what that is. This one is fairly flat. It gets a ridge line that this train travels down. Uh, let's look down here. This one also very flat, but I think it also avoids this highway, so buying this piece of land doesn't get you any highway access, that's for sure. Uh, you know, yeah, let's, uh, let's just stick with this one extra piece for now. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually I want to kind of button up this portion of the river. Um, I like the organic road that we have here, but uh, I want to flesh it out just ever so slightly more because it needs to be a little more detailed than what we have here. So I'm gonna do a modified grid back here we have straight line pieces that will gradually morph into a grid as we go along. So let's do this and then this. So that's kind of like less organic but still organic. And then I could do two angles like this. See, so eventually we're going to get back to a grid. One that, uh, is that normal? Is that good looking? It's kind of weird, not gonna lie, but yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. Yeah, so let's just get rid of that 
wash out the water back here. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Uh, I can do this. And then I'll just do this. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let me think for a second. Let's put some cross streets in here while I think. I'm trying to think of... What I want to do... Um, in terms of expansion. Do I even want to expand? Or do I want to focus on <coughs> some other things? Like maybe building an entirely new town. You know, up here, something. And just running a train line down here. So that way we don't have a huge urban sprawl. I'd rather have distinct town centers that, uh, that, what's it called? That, like... contribute to the city as a whole, but don't, like, um, meld together into a giant sprawl. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of this one. Keep that. Will we keep that? Maybe we won't keep that. Connect to the bridge. We will... Maybe we'll do this. And then we'll do... This. This is a lot more organic than I typically build, and that... I'm, I'm really enjoying that, frankly. I like the like, organic, messy nature of a town that's built up around water features, you know? Built up around a stream, built up around a river. You can't just go in and smack down a grid and expect it to work. So, this thing is done. So we're gonna bulldoze the crap out of this thing. Our garbage is still delightfully low. Let's put this down and see if we can't expand our tree production. Wait a minute, do I want to do that? Whoops. Didn't want to do that. So this is 4,800 a week and five trucks. This is. 6,400 and five trucks. And it's the same size, so we're gonna have saplings right there. And it's gonna look like a field. So that's what I'll be building from now on. Let's take a look at this. Plain timber is pulling out 10 tons out of 34 tons. What are we importing? I guess, are we, like, importing these things to these things? Let's see, there's a button for outside connections, is there not? This one. Outside connections. So this guy is importing. Importing. These guys are importing agricultural products. So I need to start building up my agriculture at some point. If that's actually a good question. All right, I forget what I was doing. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to look for agricultural products. Oh, oh look at this. 
I bought this whole area, and there is a whole bunch of fertile land down here. That's great. So... Oh, the river is all oil. I guess that's... I don't know what to think about that. Okay. Um, Alright, great. So what I want to do, then... Because if you're looking at outside connections... We're importing a bunch of goods, so we do need to make more goods. Total imports, 571. Total exports, 829. So I want to minimize this import number. Uh, we're importing mail, which I don't know if you can ever really get rid of that. But and we're importing agricultural products, and we're importing goods, and then a few forestry products, and oil, and ore. I think. So, in order to get the agricultural products down, we're gonna start a little, you know, we'll do like a little farming town up here. That'll be cool. So, let's do one thing before we start working on that, and that is move this. I want to move this over basically, so that way it gets off the road. And I want to put a road up here for future expansion, and that'll be good. So, yeah, that's not bad. Plain timber, looking good. Oh, you know what? Before we do the other area, I know we upgraded... We, like, leveled up our farming area, so let's see what else we can make. Biomass pellet plant. Let's put that down. Oh, this thing is huge. So we can just put it down anywhere, I guess. Yeah, let's put down two of them. Because I want a good bit of production. This thing produces... I guess we have to see from here. This thing produces 3,200 units a week, and this thing produces 3,200 units a week. So really, if I wanted to balance them, they would be there would be three of them because I have three of these, which I can do. Paper and plain timber. So I need another warehouse as well. I need a warehouse for. Paper. Put it here. Say balanced and paper. Cannot be imported. What is this? This is balanced plain timber. This is balanced paper. So that's cool. Eventually, I'm going to want to rearrange this whole area because. I want to have roads that basically go from production to storage, these storages, then to factories, like processing places like these and these, and then these are the last thing. So I kind of want to make like a loop, almost, so it goes step one, step two, step three, step four, and then the fifth step would be like a unique factory. Which I could do... Can I do that now? Can I do a unique factory? This is furniture! I can do this. Oh, this is large. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. 22,000? Yeah, let's just plop down see what happens. Do I have any other unique factories? Oh, just the one. I think each each industry area has one unique factory that only requires that industry area. So there's one factory for paper and plain timber. And like one factory for you know the farming industry that doesn't require another industrial area. 
So that way, no matter what industry area you start with, you can at least put down one in each factory. So we can definitely fit enough. Sorry about that. My kid wanted some goldfish. So I forget what we were doing and why the hell did we just import a whole bunch of stuff? Why did that happen? He was completely out of stuff. Now why are we importing things? This is empty, this is empty, even though they're both full. Trucks in use are totally used up. I bet that's what's happening. We don't have enough storage. All our trucks have left the city, and therefore there's no trucks to bring raw materials to the, what's it called? 12, 300,000. 15, 400,000. So let's. Oh, can I fit that here? Yes, I can. Look at that. Space efficiency. And we'll do empty here as well. There we go. Now these production facilities should have enough. Look at that. See, we're already getting... Oh, and then it turns around and leaves. Hold on. You are owned by Sawdust Exporting Forestry Products. You couldn't, like, bring it to... something else? That's the problem, is if you have it on empty, then if you have it on empty, they'll just constantly leave the city, the trucks will. So what if you put it on balanced? If you put it on balanced when it's full, it shouldn't import anything. Hold on a second. You there. Delivering. Small tree plantation. Small tree plantation. Hold on. Let's just do this. Small log yard. Delivering forestry products to small log yard. Okay. Sawdust. Fine furniture load. Okay, but that's good though. We should have the storage we need. Okay, so this this should grow. We can fit up to 483 workers, and we only need 350 for the next level, so maybe we'll get to it. Uh, right now we're not making any money though. Is the upkeep so high? Whatever. Let's flush out this neighborhood a little bit. We'll put a little bit of uh, residential back here because they want it. I wonder why this square decided not to be four deep. Weird. Oh man, I just reminded myself that they got rid of trams and a pissed. Let's do services for this nice neighborhood. We 
got a clinic way over there. Let's put a clinic like on this side street. Like that. Do we have crematoriums yet? No, we don't. Cemetery. Yeah, we're gonna need another cemetery, aren't we? Put one at the end of the road here. Uh, what are we at? Uh, child care center? The child care center... Ooh, it actually does cover a bunch of that neighborhood. Not all of it, but some of it. Let's do a firehouse. One, two, three, four firehouses already. We'll put another one right here. That's a firehouse. Let's see about police stations. Man, police station, the crime rate is pretty good. We can put another police station in. Not a headquarters. A station. What is a station upkeep? 480 a week? Yeah, we got it. They're making like eight grand, seven grand a week. It's ridiculous how much money we're making. Schools uh, look okay with the high school. All right, we need another high school. Uh, this is dangerously straying towards sprawl territory that I was trying to avoid. But yeah. Let's just keep it going for now. We're not going to expand this town very much further. We might go up into these hills, we might go up towards these hills, but we're not going to go crazy. Public library. Man, we could fit a public library down here. Let's do that. Libraries are 400 a week. Yeah, see, that's fine. And then transport. We've got buses. We can make a bus line. We can make a bus line that does what? Well, you know what? Before we do that, let's put a trolley or a taxi stand down here. Like here. Maybe, maybe here. There we go. Could put one down here too, couldn't we? Like take this small lot, like so. Good stuff. Because the upkeep is virtually nothing. Costs you nothing to put taxis into your city. Once you have this depot, even the taxi depot is small. Uh, let's see, post offices? Post office coverage is pretty good. Yeah. Post office coverage is good. City attractiveness. Alright, uh, let's put in that bus line. So I would like a bus. that goes, I kind of want it to go the opposite direction down this one. So kind of like a loop, like up this street, over and down, like a small loop-de-loop. -loop. So we're gonna go here, and here, and then here to be offset from that station, or stop rather. Uh, is that a stop? Yes, that is a stop. So we'll put that stop there. And there's no other stop here, huh? Weird. We can put a stop there. And then cinch it up. Alright, that's good. 
So there's buses and taxis and someday I'll put in a trolley bus. Two lane road with trolley bus wires. Wires hanging over heads, but this two lane one way and then four lane road with trolley bus wires. Hmm, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll have to do that someday. Today is not that day though. So let's, let's start talking about, oh, parks, gotta do parks. Yeah, look at that, not nearly enough parks, crying out loud. Um, let's see here, what do I wanna do? Let's grab a plaza. Plaza with trees, and we can put that next to the library. Put that across from the library, actually. We'll do that. And then we'll grab, what is this, dog park? What's the entertainment on dog park? 125. People love dog parks. Put a dog park on the corner here. Sorry to all the little houses. But we'll do that. Let's unpause so I can actually see these things working. It's pretty good. We'll put a park with trees is huge, isn't it? Yes it is. Like it would doesn't even fit in among the streets because I packed my grid too tightly. So we could put it like here. Space already occupied by what? See, that would be kind of a waste. But we could do a small playground. That fits. Let's do a small playground here. This place needs a small playground back here. So these little houses right here are gonna go away. There we go. Where did my parks indicator go? All right. Boop. Watch these houses turn green. Look at them, they love it. They absolutely love it. Uh, could use a little more right here. Small park. And even a small park's fairly big. Not gonna lie. Let's put this here. Could put it off of the alley. I think I'd rather put it right here. There we go. Small park. Uh, I think I have a double. Doop, doop. That's all right. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. So amazing to see my own written book at the book fair. Oh, cool. That's right. I turned on book fair uh, earlier before I started recording because I wanted to improve my libraries. Not enough customers. Hmm. All right, I'm back. I pulled away again. Totally forgot what I was doing. Oh, but I need more water and sewer capacity. Which, if I check out my budget, I cranked up already. Okay, so let's get another water tower. I've already got one here and here. Right? Yep. Okay, let's put one down here. We'll put one kind of towards the tip here. Like on the hill. Slope too steep. 
little too steep my butt. Mm, yeah, let's put it here. Then, connection. And let's do a Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant. What is this one? Eco Advanced. So we'll do this. Because again, I don't want to mess up the water with this. So let's put it, let's put it back here. Why not? I could do this and get rid of the quay. What if I demolish this quay? And then put this like boop. That's actually not bad. Make the water connection. Space already occupied. There we go. There we go. Let's just put a quay in to fix that slope. So I think it was this one, and then water structures, and then quay. And don't snap to anything, please. Thank you. And you can't set heights. There. All right, and then we'll do the move it mod. This one and this one to object height, this one. Nope, to object height, this one. There we go. Close the door, Joe. Maybe I can move this out a little bit. I kind of like that. I kind of like the way that's sloping. I think I might need to lower it a little bit though. Because it's a little high for my water treatment plant. Wait a minute. What? My landscape. Look at these things floating. Can I level this? If I click here. See, it's messing up everything. It's like it won't do it. That'll have to be close enough. Close enough for government work. There's my Eco Advanced. All right. So we've got water and sewer taken care of in our town. Right now the demand is low. Um, there's a f one thing I want to do before I start moving outside of this original town. That's, I want to do something with this little island right here. I think it would be cool if we made this little, this little island right here a little park area. I think that would be great. So let's paint an area. All right, paint the park area. I want this island to be a park. Orchard garden. That's fine for now. And I will go into parks. What is tourism and leisure? Oh, gotcha. 
a lot of things you can do with tourism and leisure. Let's look at city park or nature reserve. Maybe. Now yeah, we're gonna do city park because this is not big enough to be a nature reserve. Let's start with. Oh, big town. Here we go. We can buy a third piece of land now. So we can do campus areas. Blimps. We're gonna put a blimp in. Inner city bus. Metro, trade school, campus area. So we're going to definitely put in a university probably in the next episode. Uh, office specializations? Wait a minute. Does that mean we have high density stuff? Like offices and whatnot? Yes, we do. High density things. We should start. After we make our little farming village, we should start making like a real deal city center somewhere trade school, and then all these buildings that we get to use. Oh, and we unlock the prison. That's great. Hot air balloon tours. Pretty cool. Post sorting facility. That'll be good. Uh, inner city bus station. Bus intercity bus hub. This is going to be money for our city. And when we finally need power, we'll be doing the solar updraft tower. Which, if you've been watching the, the uh, channel for a while, you'll know is one of my favorites. So, man, we got a lot of stuff to do on the next episode now. Sheesh. Small Park Main Gate. Yeah. Or an actual Park Main Gate. So let's do a real deal Park Main Gate. Right here. Right here, I said. Click. Orchard Gardens has reached level one. Side gate, plaza, info booth, restrooms, and cafe. Okie dokie. So let's start by just. And we got a lot of pedestrians running across this thing. Electricity! Oh, speak of the devil! work on this. Let's see. Geothermal, 50 noise, 80 power, 1,000 weak. 240 power, 2,200 weak. So that's three times the power for like a little over double the price. So a solar updraft tower is definitely the way to go. So let's put it out by our municipal stuff, because why not? It can just be a little spot away from everything. Slope too steep, slope too steep. Let's put it there. Yeesh, and here's where the quays come in again. So we've got our solar updraft tower, and I love this if you angle your thing correctly and you turn it on oh, the blades start spinning like they actually went and modeled that which I think is really impressive let's put in the quay so that way this doesn't look completely ridiculous yeah we'll put it in like here and we'll put it in here. And then uh, we'll actually lower it, I think, this time. Move it mod, this one. Page it down. Now, see, that negates the whole purpose of the quay. It flipped it. It flipped the leg. Why would I? Why would that do that? I ruined it. Get out of here. Move this. All right, that's good enough. Ruined my quay. 
let's do this. No. Wrong, sir. Wrong. What if I raised this node? Would that flip it back? Nope. It doesn't. Nope. Oh, that did it. Oh, and then it went back. Alright, I'm not going to push it any further. That'll be what it is. And let's just lower this one a little bit. There we go. There, now it doesn't look quite so ridiculous. Although this does, frankly. Can we, like, landscape that away? Like that. This looks crazy. So let's smooth it, I guess. Nope, that's part of the quay, isn't it? Smooth it on out. Smooth it out. Uh, maybe quays weren't such a good idea. But, oh well, it still looks better than that hideous, like, cliff wall. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, city park. Yep, doing a city park. Alright, it needs water. Water. Lexo. Let's put down some city park roads. Some pathways. Here's what I need to do. I need to have a pedestrian overpass with this stuff. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to make it under these bridges. Although, maybe. Let's see, if I do this... Does that mess up the water? Mm, maybe. Let's move it over. There, see, that's not so bad. Like a little cliff face, and then the pathway. That's pretty good. Alright, that's how I'll do it. I don't think I can do it, do the same thing on the other side. So, let's do... Yeah, that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Do our pathway now. I want this to be basically. Uh, I want this to start curving around. Let's give me no guidelines, please. snapping back on. And give me a straight piece, please. And we'll do that. So we've got a loop here. Then we'll do a loop on the other side. Snapping off. Curvy bit. for the people to come and see. Oh 
nice little walking trail. Going around my island. Let's go... Wait a minute, before I do that, let's see how big the cafe. See, the cafe is four deep. So I could put the cafe just like along the road. Or I could flip it around and put it along. Okay, these are two deep. The plaza is four deep. Okay, so. Oh, see, the gate is only three deep. So I can do bathrooms on one side. Plaza and cafe on the other. Okay, that's what I'll do. Click this thing. Uh, curve it up to here. Well, give me grid. Curve it up to here. And then give me a straight shot. Distance too short. No, it's not. You're a pain in my ass. Mm, what the hell just happened? I don't know what the heck that was. Curvy bit. To here. Straight bit. To here. That was weird. That was absolutely strange. To there. Okay. So I've got two loops. And I can put stuff in them. Oh, wrong button. All right, so we'll do small buildings. We'll do a bathroom. What is this? Oh, info booth. Oh, info booth is three. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll do an info booth right here. We'll do a bathroom. Bathroom, I said. Right here. We'll do a plaza right here, and we'll do a cafe next to the plaza. That's a little ridiculous. Let's move this over here. Can I move that over here? Do I want the plaza like this? I think I'd rather have the plaza like this. There we go. A little plaza you can get to. This is going to be one dense park, that's for sure. Alright, let's check. Entertainment until next level, 205 out of 220. So I need some additional entertainment. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't close this, did I? Weird that I would not do that. Click this thing here to... All right, delete that. Here to... Here to here. There we go. There. A little cafe, a little info booth. People walking around. Let's add Louise well, people come in. I'm actually getting some people to come check this out. Alright, uh, I need a little bit more entertainment. Entertainment. Park chessboard. Interesting. The rest of these are going to be small buildings. That's great. What is this? Trampoline park. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to actually be able to build this stuff here. But we'll do another restroom. We'll put the restroom like... here. 
Does the restroom actually help? Entertainment, 10. What are you doing in the, uh, park restroom? It's so entertaining. Alright, uh, that obviously didn't work. Let's do... Let's do another cafe. We'll do a couple little cafes. Throughout the park. One right there at the entrance. I forgot this thing needs all the water. There we go. Alright, so we've got enough entertainment for the next level. And it is making us money. We just need more visitors. Alright, great. That's not bad. Now. Things to do. We've got a laundry list of things to do. But I don't think we have enough time left in this episode to get started on all of them. So let's just see... What kind of... What is this? No, not enough educated workers. Well, we're going to work on education next time, I swear. Let's put down... Intercity bus station, bus station, intercity bus terminal. Oh, it's a hub. That's right. Bus, intercity bus hub, ferry bus exchange stop. Bus, intercity bus hub. Bus terminal and intercity bus hub is a large building with local bus stops in a bus platform configuration, with separate platforms for intercity buses. We can add this. We really should add it like somewhere over here where the buses can easily get to it from the out of town area and it doesn't bother the residential stuff. Let's do that. Let's just make this a big old bus terminal. I like that idea. Boom. Okay. So now, what you want to do is I think you have to actually connect to it with bus lines. Right? So if you click this tool and you were to take this and add a stop here, like add a stop at any of these, or, and those are inner city buses, yeah, so you can do one right there. And I think, If we grab this and bring it up here, it'll also work. So we do that. But then this one comes and drives all the way back down to here. So we could grab this and add a stop there. That's not bad. Weird. Alright, so we've got buses and inner city buses. Right, passenger service, a combined terminal for buses and inner city bus coaches. I don't think you have to do anything for uh, the inner city buses, they just show up. Right, maybe something like that. And then everyone, if they need to get into areas... Ah, uh, should I put another pedestrian overpass here? There's not enough traffic yet to really warrant it, that is for sure. Actually, the traffic is really great in my city right now. It's kind of freaking me out. Let's follow this bus.
going there. Interesting, okay. Cool, cool. Let's see line details. We've got a healthy number of people waiting. That line and that line. But a bunch of these are empty. No one wants to ride here. Almost no one here. And a bunch there, and a bunch there. No one there. And no one there. I gotta, I gotta look at these lines again. What, what is going on? Okay, so this one. Yeah, it should just come up to here. All right, well, hopefully they're working. Let's see here, 246 per week. Man, the same Mary Lou does not have. Oh boy! All right, you need more buses. That's what you need. Let's give you more buses. All the buses are full. Everyone's waiting. It's just up at ten. Lines overview. This one is. Not nearly as bad, but it does have the same amount of passengers, so maybe I want to up that with the 10 too. Alright, we'll see how that works out. Um, that's probably going to have to be it for this episode, everybody. Let's talk about a list of things that I want to do next episode. So, the big one the big two that I want to do in the next episode is first of all I need to have a college campus because a lot of these buildings when you click on them level up info is okay so that one's increase the value of the land this one's educate more citizens educate more citizens increase the value of the land educate more citizens. I don't know why it's all the way over there when it says that, but so education is super important right now and they're talking about uh, college education, I think. Is there a way to see education levels? I mean, there is. So we've got elementary schools. Shoot, I need another one, frankly. Let's move this. Well, yeah, we'll just plop another one down here. Um, high schools are good, although we need to have more people actually going. University is damn near nothing. So, um, that's an important one, is education. Uh, the other important one is getting our agriculture built up. So, building a farming industry area, because that is uh, a portion of the import that we're bringing in. The other is goods. Obviously, we need more general industry. The problem is that we don't have the population base to support that much more industry. So, that's going to be an issue just forever, is the lack of goods. Um, so, really, we need... A lot more people and then start building generic industry in order to produce goods so those are the two big ones that I want to cover on the next episode uh, there's obviously other things to do like put down a trolley bus put down some blimps I know somebody loves some blimps I would love to have them in this town probably so blimp depot Blimp pathway. We're gonna have blimps serving my little town here of St. Mary. 
Well, guys, that's going to have to be it for this episode of City Skylines here in St. Mary's. I hope you enjoyed following along with me. Uh, we accomplished a lot today uh, growing our city, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, goals for the coming episodes of College Campus, a Farming Village, as well as uh, expanding the public transport, putting in blimps, which I know everyone loves blimps. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've got our, our work cut out for us in the city, and really enjoying the map and growing a new city from scratch. I really think it's great. So I hope you'll join me on the next episode of City Skylines here in St. Mary's. I will catch you then. Peace!